Hello and welcome back. Now, let's get these bones. Oh, come on. Do I need to do this? Oh, this is gonna take a while. Yeah, I took this, I know. Oh, come on! Uh. What basket? Ah, I'm done. Oh, do you mean that one? And this one. Not this one. Maybe this one. Irregular bones look uh, like these very in shape, in shape and size, which is why they don't fit into other categories. They usually have a complex shape and are used to protect internal organs. An example in humans, humans is the vertebrae. Okay. Take this one. This one should go here. Or not. Here. Or not. Here, I guess. Flat bones provide protection to internal organs, just like shield. These flattened bones cover organs like the heart or brain. Human examples are the skull, ribs, and pelvis. Okay. This one, I know, should go to the far left one. Yep. This one, it's a leg bone, I guess. Should go to the far right one. Or not. Or to this one. This one. Well, I don't know where this one goes. I think. No, I, I don't know. Here. This one. into a small one that means one of these two see uh, sesamoid bones like these are uh, the embedded in, in tendons uh, they are small round bones that protect tendons from stress and wear an example in humans is the patella also known as the kneecap okay 
I get you. Another small one. Ah, oh, come on. Why you got to be like this? Short bones are about as long as they are wide and provide stability. For example, in, in humans, the carpal support the wrist and the tarsal support the ankle. Okay, let's change you to Andromeda because I don't want you to get the XP because you're already max. Okay, now let's get the last one. Which is a huge one. So it should go here. No! Weird. So here. Long bones are just what they sound like. Bones that are longer than, any, than they are wide. They support the weight of the body and help the body move. Examples in humans include the femur, tibia, phalanx, and metacarpals. Voila! Now they're all the right parts. All's well that ends well, is what my, da uh, my dad always said. We need to catch up to Stormheart and stop her from defiling this place further. Fishlegs and I will make sure these bones go back to their rightful place. Can you ask if Snotlass is ready to move on? Snotlass. Oh, come on, dude. Why do you... Uh, just change to Andromeda. The game hates me. Okay. Let's go to Smart Loud. Smart Loud, Smart Loud. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. How are you here? You are on the beach. I think. I repeat, I think. Okay, it's not loud. Are you ready? It's not loud. Yeah, those bones pile, those bone piles look right uh, as uh, right as rain, and I'm glad you guys got it back right. Blah blah blah. We have to talk about the real threat that's looming over our horizon, Stormheart. She's here, she's ahead of us, and it would be just as apparent to you as it is to a genius like me that she's here with a purpose. If we don't stop her, uh, who knows? Maybe she'll bring about the end of the world. Wow. Experience, but. Okay, now what? Come on, you just leave me like this? Don't be like that. I just need to get back to fish legs. That means toothless. Ah. Okay, found out what we have to do. Or maybe not. There's gotta be a better way for us to get one step ahead of Stormheart. Believe me, I want to get a drop on her and pay her back. We're never going to catch up if we're just chasing her footsteps. I asked Skulder if he remembered anything more about when Stormheart kidnapped him. Can you ask him uh, if he has anything that we can use? Sure. Is he on Berg though? No, he is not. Of course, why would he be? See you on Vanaheim. Here we are. Let's see what Skulder has to say. Indeed, it's not that as in his own imitable uh, way to jog my memory. It all happened so quickly that I don't remember much. Thankfully, you have been on several adventures now, Zeno, and your wit and courage seem to be rubbing off on me. 
I scraped as I scribbled down some of the symbols I spotted on her map. Skulls versus scribbles. Okay. Let's look at it together, shall we? I hope you can make uh, heads or tails of it. Open your backpack and and tap on the doodle, please. Doodle. Okay. Okay, my dude. Um. Well, that's a crayfin. And that was the uh, island. Have you ever seen these symbols before? They seem familiar to me, but I can't pin down why. Uh, perhaps we should seek out another opinion. Snotal may not be of much value to us in this regard, but another of our party uh, will be extremely helpful. Fish legs and I share all of our knowledge amongst each other, and there is no one I can trust more. Can you find him and ask that uh, uh, ask what he thinks? Bruh. Come on. <sighs> okay, fish legs, here we are. I can't give her um, I can't get over how interesting it has been to watch this young Leviathan on Vanaheim decades earlier than the trip he'll make at the end of his life. Oops, I'm I'm sorry, uh should mention the E N D in front of Lumi. Uh how rude of me. All organisms in an ecosystem connect to each other. Uh, all matters move from the environment to into living organisms and back into the environment uh, through produ producers, consumers and decomposers. Matter from the air and the environment are taken in the uh, plants to help them grow, taken in by the plants, like the red fruit tree here on Vanaheim. Then organisms like dragon consume the fruit and eventually eliminate waste or die. Bacteria break down this matter into um, various forms such as soil, which is used by plants to grow again. In this way, matter is used over and over again and is never destroyed. So the dragons that come to this island at the end of their life uh, help maintain the eco ecosystem here. Here I go on and on uh, when you're on a shared schedule. Give me a scroll, a scroll and I'll see if I recognize something. Okay. Oh, oh, I know uh, where I've seen this before. Do you remember the labyrinth on Impossible Island? Uh, the Dragon Bloom room was covered with decorations of the luminous clayfin. The, scr the, the scrolls uh, along the walls looked a little bit like this. But what could Stormheart possibly know about the luminous clayfin? Lumi is the only one in the archipelago. She definitely won't find another, believe me. Hick up and I search far and wide for any trace of Lumi's kind. No luck. Well, I guess uh, the only thing that to do is continue on onwards, alright? Can you meet up with Snotta and the archaeologist on the mainland? I think they continue without us. Sure thing, fishy. Let's see where they are so I can change back to Andromeda. Dude, they haven't moved a bit. Oh. Let's change back to Andromeda. Sorry, Magnum. Get back in your stable, please. <laughs> 